Hello, my grade one amazing thinkers and inquirers, and welcome back to a new social studies class or UOI class. In this video, we're going to discuss the concepts that we're going to cover in week three. There are very important concepts that we're going to study about this week, and they are very interested and connected to our real life. We're going to talk about our families, rules at home, the consequences of not following the rules, and acting as good citizens in the community. To begin with, let's start discussing our family. My family can be a small family or an extended family. My small family are my parents and my siblings who stay in my home. They live with me or I live with them all the time. We share the same house and we live together. My parents and my siblings are very important and they should be close to me and I should be there for them all the time and they have to be there for me all the time as well. My extended family can include my grandparents, my uncles, my aunts, my nephews and my cousins and they are also very important for me because they are my backbone. Excellent. They support me in life. We can enjoy um, spending a family, a nice quality family time together. So they are very important in my life, right? Now each member of my family has a role, right? Let us discuss the roles of people who are in my family or family, my family members. My parents are very important in my life. They do a lot of work to make me feel comfortable and happy, right? My dad and mom, they prepare everything for me in life. They can prepare food, they can clean the house, they pay for my education, they protect me from anything that is outside or anything that can harm me and my siblings. They make sure that our house is safe all the time. They make sure that we get all of our needs. So my, my parents are very important in my life. Now, what is my responsibility towards my family? My responsibility is always to give a helping hand, to do chores at home to help my mom and dad, to run some errands for them, and to make sure that they are always happy. And of course, I have always to respect my mom and dad and my family members. There are a lot of house rules that we need to follow. We share and look after our toys. We don't scream or shout at home. We don't jump, jump on the furniture. We use kind words all the time to each other. It means we say kind words to our parents and our siblings. We listen to each other. We eat nicely at the table. We ask before talking or doing anything or taking anything from, our, from others. We take off our shoes inside, of course, because we always have to take care of the hygiene of our house. And we use our manners. We always use the magical words like, excuse me, I'm sorry, thank you, if you please. This is better for us to, to deal with each other in this way. Now, the consequences of not following the rules. If we observe this picture carefully, we see that this boy and this girl are not following the house rules that we discussed before. Are there, are there consequences? Of course. There are always consequences for our bad behavior or behaviors that, not, that our parents don't like. We have to take a break and think of our actions and think what wrong did we do and what was right that we did you break it you fix it if we break something we need to fix it if we uh, for example played with our toys in the house or in our room we have to clean it up back this is how we fix what we did logical consequences like the punishment fits the crime it means that if I did something wrong, I have to accept a punishment from my parents. And it might be a loss of privilege. My mom can sometimes take my iPad for a punishment for what I did, right? 
So these are the consequences of not following the law. Acting as a good citizen, as a good citizen, and this is also connected to our well-being classes. Excellent. In our well-being classes, we always learn how to be good citizens for our community, good citizens for our city, good students for our classroom, and good children for our parents, right? We always have to be respectful. We always have to be responsible, fair, trustworthy, caring, and we always have to be good citizens as well. There are a lot of values that, sh that we should have, like helpfulness, courage. We should have to be, we should be compassion. We have, to, we should have honesty and we always have to cooperate with others and many other values that we are going to discuss in our well-being classes. Excellent. For our community, we also can be good citizens by helping elder people, as we can see by planting and taking care of the environment of our community, of course. We also can be good citizens by voting, by recycling uh, uh, garbage in our um, neighborhood or, or at the school, and we always have to take care of our environment. That's why, that's how we be good citizens for our community. I just want to say that I am really proud of you because you're always showing uh, that you are risk takers and open-minded and very good thinkers. Thank you for listening and love you all.